Hello everyone! Welcome back to the best empire in the game, who now has a vassal that I don't really think does too much for us. Before we get started, the... which one is it? This system, I think. Yes. The Nomatar system will now be renamed... I guess I can just click it here. The Hugger Ball system, which makes... This Hugger Ball Prime. Boom. Done. Welcome to the Empire Hugger Ball. Uh, I think everything else is still okay. I'm wondering, can we get rid of this frontier outpost? Hmm, maybe not. I doubt the influence from this colony is going to be enough to get... Yeah, we should probably just keep that, just in case. Just in case. Oh! Alright, hey man. You do what you gotta do. Yeah, volcanic tiles. Okay, cool. Oh. 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 Uh, let's get the tile blocker. And since we have that, now we can... Oh, that's not the right one. Titan Prime? Okay. Just clear all of that. Clear that. Ooh, that's a lot of credit spent, but it's going to be fun. To a prime. You, wow, you have a full population again, so we can actually resettle on, ooh, hey, hello. Upgrade you, thank you. We can resettle you on Echelon Prime is where I think I wanted you to go, right? Yes, yes it is. Hmm. Where specifically? Let's see here. Resettle. Oh, wrong planet. Echelon Prime, you can go... There's gonna be a lot of spots opened up here soon. Just go there. It's gonna take you a little while to resettle, right? Nope, that was instantaneous. Never mind. Um... Uh, <laughs> listen, it's gonna be just fine. We'll figure out a place for you to go at some point. Placid Leviathans, Placid Leviathans. Okay, so which one is finished? You? Survey. Check our sectors. They are still at minus three. Not good. We'll give them complete. the money that we have. Governor's leveled up. System survey. done. Okay, so now the other science vessel, you will survey that system. Beth Aliens. Let's just take care of that right now. We're gonna split this feed up. Because it's not that big of a deal. We'll take a couple destroyers. I don't like that it goes to the top of the list every time I click. That's good enough. First task force, we'll assign this admiral because we want to get them experience. And they will go take care of the Beth aliens. We'll call these... The Red Suns. Make a progress. I'm really curious to see what happens when we raise them. System survey complete. That was quick. Oh, because you only had the black hole, which still looks awesome. Oh, I never realized this planet. Complete. Look how cool that is. Would be really bad for anybody living there, but that still looks really cool. 
Oh, wrong ship. No, that's the right ship. Okay. Oh, you know what? We haven't... Hold on. This may be bad. This may just actually be part of... What? Do I have this under the situation log? No. Just move close. Any of the tiles cleared up yet? No. Hostile fleet engaged. Okay, no, they're hostile. Or maybe we just initiated a fight, I don't know. Situation log updated. Alright, well they've been dealt with. Very good. Oh. How about you go back to evasive and uh, survey the system? Those crystalline entities may try to kill you. Evading hostile fleet. That is a bigger okay. Well, the Krutox Vanguard will head up here. Red Suns will go back to Tua. Let us also sign you. The Admiral, there we go. I think in the next war I'm going to try more hit and run tactics. Things that are more attuned with the way that this race has been designed. Maybe. So that means not just one giant blob, but multiple blobs. <gasps> Colonizable world in Teramba. We can clear those, though. And these soon. Actually, we can clear everything here. That is a great world. We will build. And I guess this will be our third sector. And then that will give us some influence to start building around here, so we may not even need to spend any influence on a uh, frontier outpost. Mm-hmm. Take these uh, crystalline System entities out. Complete. Upgrade. Upgrade. I forgot to actually click what you were going to be upgraded into. There we go. Um, science ship. Can we just not... We... Hmm. Okay, survey system. Then research projects. Other science ship. Go to the rim system. Hostile fleet engaged. Research complete. They may lose some ships here. Oh, research. Uh, right, of course. Yes, we need those. Grab those. We have a lot of those. Resilience. What? Uh, 
Um, which one is that? Governor Galdrig Den Adaska. Galdrig Den Adaska. Oh, yeah, this guy. Where is the trait, though? It's not listed here. How, much, how damaged are you? Eh, not that damaged. Um, hmm. I wonder if there's a hotkey to separate just the damaged ships. Alright, you go home. The rest of the fleet will continue their mission. Don't think we really even need to watch it. Hmm. The Eve Zorak Confederacy is interested in this area. They are also surveying. Oh, that's us. Fleet engaged. But it looks like they are. Sur yep, they're surveying it. That's not good. All right, you're repairing a Titan. Situation log updated. We got more stuff to research. You know what? Just build something here. Build a. Um... Hmm. Build a power plant. Situation log updated. We lost a ship. They will be remembered. Go heal. Admiral leveled up. Great. Very good. The is there are so many just names that are like gibberish to me here. Uh, something Commonwealth. Democratic nation committed to upholding the individual freedom of our citizens. A long protective relationship together for all for the glory of the Imperium or of the Tau. Jesus. Speaking of Imperium, uh, there is actually a Warhammer 40k mod for this game already. Actually, it, was, it would have been maybe a day or two ago by the time this video goes up on YouTube. But yeah, there's one out there if you want it. I wish it was out there when I started this game. Because I probably would have just complete. played with it first. What do we got here? Oh, you're now researching the project. Yep, yeah. okay. Look at all this stuff! Situation log updated. The Yoda, or Yoda aliens. We'll just research them right now. Because I'm going to forget. Alright, you... Boom. Get it done. So yeah, this is going to be its own sector up here as well. And there's a lot of nice resources up here for that to happen. The thing is, I'm going to probably have to be the one to build all of them, though. Construction complete. Well, that's fine. Oh, you... oh, I can't build them yet. I need to wait for the colony to be up. I was like, what am I doing? I just have all these construction ships doing absolutely nothing. Huh. And I guess... Right there. Excellent. Debris analyzed. Very good. 
Colony ship is on the way. We will still be positive for credits, luckily. Situation updated. New aliens. Wow. All of these aliens. With the... Oh, our research stuff is done. Alright. Well, it's been fun. Yeah, like, this isn't... Uh, it's kind of important. We would halt this by another year if we do all of these other research projects right now. I don't know about that. What I can do, I think, is build a wormhole station here, right? That doesn't have to be in our influence. Right? Yeah. So we'll get that done. Also, did it say I could build a military outpost there too? I don't need military outposts in our influence either? Really? Hmm. How's our observation post doing? Halfway there. Oh, you were doing nothing. Um, you will serve... They actually, no, you won't, because we already have somebody on that. You'll go to the uh, Taramba system. Holy crap! Uh, when did I learn about all of them? Why can I all of a sudden see all of these? Hey, man. All right. That's fine. I'm cool with this. Debris analyzed. Red crystal capacitors. Okay. We got some research points. What else do we want to do? We have so many minerals. Let's go through the world, see if we want to build anything. I don't really care to build anything there. Oh, I should build a... Lab. Yeah, I should put a lab. I'm looking at our credits that we have. But yeah, we should do that. New Tua has all the upgrades available. Jeez. Man, our maintenance cost is going to go so high. We're upgrading the entire planet. I took out some of the minerals. Power plant two. Clear that blocker. Debris analyzed. We need more. What do we need? Oh, we already have that being cleared. Right, so we already queued that up. Yeah! Alright, so now we can build some mining stations here. Let's get the other construction ships up here. That is not in range yet. So just move there. Let's see, do we have any other upgrades we can give to our defense station? Because I think I may want to make one. 2.3... Disruptor does 1.82, but does a lot of shield damage. We'll keep one of those, and then... These are both kinetic. This costs more, and does more damage. Uh... We'll do, um, this. We'll get to, uh, is that going to be good? The thing is, this is slightly more accurate, at least. Nuclear torpedoes. That's going to be a large. Accuracy, 100, 7.27. Range is the same. Okay, so we definitely want to upgrade you with fusion missiles. 
We're now at low power. Oh, because we sub that out. Actually, we can probably upgrade this stuff, can't we? Yeah, we can regenerate this too. Let's put some um, regenerating stuff. Ooh, that's still at minus 15 power. And we want to improve these with shields. Which means we're going to need more cold fusion reactors. And we can do... But does like a space station repair itself anyway? It would, wouldn't it? Or defensive platform? I don't know. But you probably don't need that much regeneration for it. We we'll just get more shielding. Oh, um. A little bit of armor. But keep the space amoeba, because those are cool. Oh, oh, let's rename this. What should I name this? The Tiger Class Defense Station. Does that make sense? I'm trying to think of Tau names. They, I know they have Piranha. Uh, hmm, nah, that's a fish though. And that's also fast attack. Let's do this. Far side class. I don't know. Names, man. I don't know. Unpause it. I may want to build one of those. How much is that going to cost me? The far side class, 609. Monthly maintenance of 5. Oh, man. I didn't realize we can keep all these different classifications, too. Well, maybe we don't build that quite yet. Alright, survey. That is now within our area, so we should be able to build mining stations. Great. Construction complete. Debris analyzed. Research complete. Very good. Fleet Academy unlocks Edict the Grand Fleet. Costs some influence to maintain, but our naval capacity goes up by 35%. Holy shit. Um. Terraforming stations. In a planet's orbit. Terraforming liquids. Mined from frozen planets. Terraforming fluids represent different types of fluids, such as. Uh huh. Terraforming fluids are used to make dry planets more humid. They are a strategic resource. So I'm assuming we would need the terraforming liquid to actually use the terraforming station. And terraforming gases. Mined from gas giants. So this would make a world more habitable. I'm assuming. Hmm... Or colonies of arid worlds. How many arid worlds? We have a, a few. There, hell, there's one right there. That would go into the new sector. Let me just close that real quick. I know, I know, I know. That's continental. There's another arid. We need continental too. A couple deserts. Couple tropicals. Another arid world. We have a couple. There's another one right there. But the habit the habitability is still only gonna be 20%, right? Even with this tech. Mm -hmm. 
or to raise it. Because, like, for this ocean world, it's still only 60%. So I think it would still only be 20% for our race. Unless we, you know, build habitability buildings, the terraforming thing. So I don't know if actually grabbing that right now is the best. I don't, I don't know. The Grand Fleet, though, and a Fleet Academy... So this is another module. Chance to evade, weapon damage, and chance to hit. Man. The grand... F yeah, yeah. We gotta do it. Speaking of edicts, I think there's been a couple that I have not really paid too much attention to. This is the research stuff. Research speed. What is our ethics divergence, like, at... Hmm, I don't even know. The demographics tab tracks the makeup ah. and spread of our empire's populace. No available empires that can be created as vassals. Huh. The species tab lists all types of nominally intelligent beings Whoa. we have encountered. Allowing us to modify or uplift them if we have the means and opportunity. So we'll be able to modify ourselves at some point. The likelihood of pops within the Empire spontaneously changing ethics is increased or reduced by this value. And I'm just, I'm assuming that the ethics divergence is, is going to create like rebellious factions if we have a higher ethics divergence, right? And I'm thinking about this because I'm looking at this policy like, well, I mean, I could just get some research speed, but then our ethic divergence goes up by 15%. But that would be cancelled out, right? Because then we have... Where was that at? We have the Ethics Divergence minus 10% for the government type. But then we also, on top of that, have a minus 20% for the people living currently within our space. So really, I think we can get away with this. I think. Right? That should still be cancelled out by the minus 20%. Ethics Divergence 2.5. Okay, here we go. This is actually where it breaks down. But that's the home planet. Is it the same on every planet? 0 0.78. 0 0.129. Why are these why are these different? Oh, it is distance from the capital. Okay, so this world is now at a positive 2.15. A negative number means that the pop is likely to conform to the Empire's ethics and is thus normally a good thing. But they are slightly different. But we could also cancel this specific planet out by doing this. Even though it's kind of a lot of influence. But overall, we're gaining a 10% buff to our research. And we are spending a, a, a bit amount of influence to get this one planet in... To be okay. Um, let's check... My other colonies in these sectors. They're at a positive 0.3. Managed by sector increases it by 10. I mean, is this a terrible thing, though? It's such a low number, right? Like, it... That's probably okay. Right? 
I would think so. It's such a small percent. We'll see if it becomes a problem. Alright, so the Piconda system. Or the Taramba system. Will now be known as the Optimus system. Uh-huh. You may see where this is going. Optimus Prime. The planet. Also, all these tile blockers. Holy crap. Uh, clear. Yeah. I guess we're just gonna make you a sector right now. In sector management mode, planets are added to new or existing sectors on a persistent level. There we go. Optimus Prime. I'm trying to add. It's really annoying when a ship is there. There we go. Removing system cost influence? Yeah, no. Okay. So now Optim the Optimus Prime sector, even. Holy crap. Alright, now let's unpause it. You can now work there. You can now work there. Resettle on Echelon Prime. There. Research complete. Debris analyzed. What? Oh! Through all the research, we got the red shard throwers. Or okay, cool. I guess. Cool. Maybe we still do need to build a frontier station out here somewhere. Because I definitely want to get these systems for Optimus Prime so that it doesn't lose money. Also, we need a leader. We have one more leader slot. So let's recruit one. What do we got? Slave stuff? Nope. Well, okay. I guess based on just this, what trait that we can actually kind of use. Governor Galdrick Den Badir. You are now a sector commander, governor, whatever. We'll give you some minerals to start off with. Uh, I guess do a research focus? Since you got the research kind of governor, I don't know, it kind of makes sense, I suppose. Uh, Titan Prime has another module on its spaceport. So we got the engineering bay, we got the crew quarters. I think we'll wait for a little while before we add more to that. Can't get there yet. Inquisitor Modric Din Hulos. Oh no! Our leader died! And our leader was contributing a lot of um, credits. Something I would like to happen again. I want to. I want to elect you. I need some more influence, though. I have, I have a couple months, though. Oh no! Oh man. Yeah, I only have like two months. I'm not going to be able to get enough influence. Shoot! Why did you have to die, man? 
You were a major it's boost to our complete. credits. Ah! It's fine. It's fine. Totally fine. How much food do you have? You're still at a plus. Okay. So, what we're gonna do. Power plant, yep. Suppress it. Power plant, suppress it. A new ruler has been elected, Inquisitor Valdric Din Badir. Is that the one I wanted? Um, governments. Oh no, happiness plus 10%. Monthly influence plus one. Uh, okay. I mean, happiness is always a good thing. I think. Uh, let's actually see what that specifically affects. Alright, oh, it's less productive. Okay, so I think um, someone told me that if you get above 85% you get a bonus and below 60 you get a negative, but in between it doesn't matter. So, cool, I guess. Actually, no, really cool. Because they were on the border of being below 60% here. Yeah, alright. Okay, I guess that's cool. I guess you're alright. Monthly influence plus one, that's kinda cool too. Alright, what are we doing? System survey complete. Oh, that's a lot of stuff. I want that, I want this. Upgrade the power plant. And you know what? You're gonna build more power plants. Yeah. How long is that gonna take? Well, first we gotta upgrade that one. Governor leveled up. Cool. Upgrade to a... Huh, now we're actually kind of low on society. But five of that is also being directed to raising a populace up. We'll go to physics. Do physics. Upgrade. Research complete. System we'll survey do complete. Power hub. Semper Paratus. Because you had a plus four. Then we will probably send the next populace. Actually, we can do that just right. Well, we'll wait until this building is done. Hey! Spaceport level four. Okay. And destroyer assembly yards. Great. Spaceport level five and cruisers. Cruisers. Military station damage, mineral storage capacity. Cruisers. Yeah, although we don't have a Voidcraft person. And there is nobody in the pool, so... Nope. Not gonna take that long, though. 32 months, not too bad. Over Tau Prime, let's get this upgraded immediately. New Tua. We have a lot of minerals, so we can afford to upgrade all of these. And then we'll get a, a spaceport over Echelon Prime. And then I think I can still build spaceports for the other planets that are not even in our sector. I just have to manually do it here. Okay. Who's unemployed? Oh, you are. 
Well, there will eventually be something right there. Oh, here, do that. Science ship. Survey system. Still nothing for our construction ships to build. Will probably have to be an influence system or um frontier outpost. Complete. Unless we can colonize some planets. Oh, continental world. Oh, tropical world. Wait, we can colonize tropical worlds, right? Because Marrakesh is a tropical world. I think, right? I'm really, uh, really happy that we expanded out this way. I just assumed that this was already taken by another race. Tua Prime. Upgrade? After I'm done with the spaceport, then we can level up the modules. Spaceport upgrade. You. On Titan Prime. Hmm. Destroy your assembly yards. New Tua has the Corvette assembly yards, right? Yep. And then Tua has also Corvette. Scientist leveled up. An active building. On Titan Prime. Okay. No problem. Resettle. We'll sit. Oh, well. Actually, no, it's kind of a. They are making a. Construction complete. Population, right? Yeah, right there. What? Oh, this is part of whoever the heck these people are. The Oba Confederacy. Wow, your space is large. Okay. So that belongs to them, huh? Construction complete. In that case... Construction complete. We'll probably have to build a frontier station here. That will cover research complete. These two may eventually get these two in this one. Basically, I just want to stop their halt, their um, influence. Basically, is what I want to do. Uh, but honestly, I'm more concerned about this system. Hmm. Ah, screw it. Oh, we're lacking influence. Crap. Alright, well, don't worry about that at all. Yeah, the Grand Fleet. And the Fleet Academy. Great. Leadership Xenos allowed. <laughs> Interesting. We don't really have many other species, though. Mountain range. Let's grab the mountain range. It should be pretty quick. And it's annoying. I think we'll end it there for this episode. Thanks for watching, everybody. I will see you all next time. Take care.